Thanks for joining me. This is our THG Automation UR cap for our Universal Robots and Feronius welding system. We had talked about our linear moves, our weld moves, and our home positions that we've created for our users. Uh, today, we want to talk about how to do strip welds. So in this case, let's say we want to do a strip weld. We're going to start somewhere here in the beginning and do like a two inch strip weld, and then come up and do another two inch strip weld all the way across this part. Let's say we want to create four strip welds. So to do that, normally we'd have to create a weld, come up, come over, create another weld, and so on. Let's say you had seven welds. Let's say you had 10 welds. That becomes kind of tedious, trying to remember which weld goes where. So we've created a strip weld function. We've got a strip weld node on our screen. You can see it coming down the fourth node on the left. So the strip weld function, what it does is you put in a start point and you put in an end point and you tell it how many welds at what length you want and it automatically calculates those welds for you. So in this example here, we've already got a program that we've created and this program was done through showing how to do joint moves, air moves, and then welds. Now we're going to delete the weld that we have in here and we're going to add a strip weld in there. So let's go to the weld start. And let's hit delete. And now let's hit strip weld. So strip weld is really simple. Um, you have to create a start point and end point first. So we're going to move our robot over. And we know our weld, our, our moves will always already get us here. So we don't have to worry about the moves in and out. Um, but what I want to do is I want to turn on our teach mode again, which we talked about earlier. Teach mode keeps us from from uh, breaking our wire off or bending our wire. So um, let's shoot our wire out so we can see exactly where it's gonna set in the weld joint, which is really nice since you have cast the wire and sometimes where it actually hits, it's not exactly where you think it's gonna hit. So now we know exactly where that joint's gonna be. So in our node, we have a create waypoint for the, selection, the section start point and the section end point. So we're going to hit create waypoint and now we got our move screen that pops up and we'll press OK for that. Now let's create an endpoint for this and we don't have to go all the way down. We just create, you know, some location over here to demonstrate the functionality. So now we're going to go to the section endpoint and create waypoint and again, press OK. So now we have a weld length. Okay, or, or a line that goes from here all the way to here. And now we're going to tell the controller to calculate strip welds in that direction. So let's say we put four one inch strip welds on this. Um, I'm going to turn off the teach mode just to keep it quieter. I'm going to back some wire up here now. Now that we know exactly where our wire is going to set in the weld joint, I'm going to shut that off. Now that we've created our start point and the end point for our strip welds, we're going to go to movement parameters and we're going to set up our actual welds. So we've got our strip length and we said one inch, so we're going to actually go to 25 millimeters. 25.4 is exact, but let's just do 24 or 25. And then we've got our four. So that's already set up for us. Um, we've got our job. We'll just leave 13 for now. And we've got our travel speed two position and we've got our travel speed of the weld itself so that'd be our weld travel speed and then as we talked about earlier in our um, our welds for the approach position for the start and the retract position for our end that's all in one parameter now because we want to keep those about the same length each time um, and we can ask actually start a weave as well so um, we're not going to discuss weaving today um, but if you want to go to our other videos, uh, we can show you how to set up a weave, uh, what the different parameters do. It's really simple. Um, so right now we're going to leave the weave off and we're going to show you how this works. So we've got our start and end point created. We've got our parameters for the length of weld and how many of them. Now the controller is going to calculate the distance between the welds and do a weld um, in each position that those should be. So let's move the robot up and let's just run the program from scratch. Um, so we're going to go home, home one, joint move over, do our strip welds, 
come up and then go to our home position too. There's our second weld. There's our third weld. And there's our fourth weld. We're gonna come up and go to the home two position and we're done. So that's how simple it is to set up strip welds. Um, you can do as long as you want, as long as all the welds are in a fairly straight path and uh, of course within the reach of the robot. So thank you very much and come back for additional videos showing you the other functionality.